Hey guys, I'm Lizzie Pierce, and today we're talking about how to fake golden hour. So if you don't know what golden hour is, it's usually sunset, and occasionally you get there a bit too early, or you can't stay late enough until it gets really nice and golden. I wanted to give you guys some tips on how you can recreate this effect with a photo that looks nothing like it was taken at golden hour. But before we get into that, I just wanted to address the crap that is going on behind me, and that is because I am moving and I really don't have anywhere to shoot right now other than right here. And because there is no stuff in here, there is a lot of echoing. All my gear is packed too. But I, you know, isn't this that transparent thing that people want for YouTube videos? They want you to be transparent about like what's going on in your life and this is what's going on. Moving on, let's keep it going. If you guys follow me on Instagram, shameless plug, follow me on Instagram, it's at Lizzie Pierce, exactly the way my name is spelled. A couple of posts ago, I posted this photo, and a lot of you guys thought it was taken at golden hour, and it actually was not at all. It was taken like right smack in the middle of the day, I think. Psych! And it's actually very cool toned, the original photo, so I'm just gonna show you guys a really quick before and after. And you can see that both of those photos are pretty different. It's pretty dramatic. And obviously the final version is a lot more awesome. My hair is doing a cool flippy thing. It's warm and sunny and you can see that my skin's all smooth and it's not really like that. I'm actually an alligator. Anyways, let's get into the tutorial. First things first, when you're taking your photo, even if you're not out at golden hour at all, try and pretend that you are. So if you can silhouette yourself or find an area where you get a bit of softer light, or if you can stand in a certain way that the light source is actually coming at you from an angle, then that's a really good start to fake your golden hour photo. The way that we took it, which was kind of creating a bit of a silhouette effect, really lended itself to faking that golden hour look because it gave the ends of my hair a really nice hair light and I was able to bring up the shadows a little bit because I was shooting raw. So if you don't shoot raw, you should probably shoot raw. It is really the best thing to be able to get all of that detail and to really manipulate your image. So the very first thing I did with this photo, because it was quite cool to begin with, I just warmed it right up. So the temperature slider is one of the easiest ways to do this. And then because I find if you're just using the temperature one, occasionally it can start to look a little bit green or it can look a little bit like too yellow. I don't know, I'm really particular about my warm tones. So I'll usually add a little bit of pink to it as well, just because I, I want it to have a really orangey effect, not quite so yellow like banana yellow. I don't know, what is banana yellow? Then the photo was a little bit underexposed, so I brought up the exposure a little bit. I brought the highlights down and I raised the shadows, the whites, and the blacks a little bit. So one of my favorite parts when I'm working through my Lightroom sliders and my Lightroom panels, I love when I get to clarity because I find that this makes the photo pop out of the frame and really just makes it all textured and nice. I like clarity. So we're gonna bring it up to like somewhere in the 20s range. <laughs> The next thing we're gonna do is the tone curve and that's just where I'm going to finalize exactly you know, where I want the highlights and where I want the darks. I usually lift the blacks a little bit and in this case I brought up the highlights just a touch. I really like the way the blacks look when they're a little bit lifted. It kind of smooths them out a bit. I just really like that look. This is where the fun comes in. When you're playing with hue, saturation, and luminance is when you really start to decide what look you're going for your photo. With my feed and my Instagram feed, I'm really particular about the green tones and I really focus on the warmer tones, so the oranges and the reds and the blues and the aquas. Or if there is green and I can't desaturate at all, I'm really particular about what shade it is. In this particular photo, I took out all the greens. So let's go step by step through this. So the hue, I made it a little more orange in the red zone. The oranges, I kind of moved a little bit less towards the yellow. Um, yellows, I made more orange. The green, I just made totally more yellowy because I, I didn't want the green to be too distracting. I wanted it to be a really desaturated, warm look. So saturation, I brought down the yellow considerably just because I wanted it to be more orangey. I said I don't really like yellows too yellow, I want them to be very warm and orangey and nice. I like orange. When you go into the split toning, I just felt like this photo needed that little bit of an extra push in the highlights, so I warmed it up a little bit and just a touch, like ever so slightly saturated the highlights with a warmer tone, and I really felt like that helped warm up the image. 
This is just what I did on this particular photo, but it may take you some time to fine tune it and to get it right, but it's obviously so worth it because this is one of my favorite photos. Then I really started going in. Let me see if I can show you all the brushes I did. I'm not gonna quite color everything in for you here, but I'll tell you what I did. So I almost always go over my hair and I'll lighten the darker areas because I really wanna make sure you can see the texture in it. Also, because I'm blonde, it could end up coming out a little bit too yellow. So sometimes I'll actually desaturate it or brighten it up a bit and bring the highlights up. And I will always add clarity to it as well because I just really want it to stand out and look like you can just reach out and touch it and like pet my hair. Is that weird? Then I'll smooth my skin. So I went over the high points and the highlighted areas of my skin and of my face with the Dodge Lighten Brush and I'll darken certain areas too, like under my collarbone, for example, just to give that image a little bit more dimension and to kind of contour it. Last but not least, if you can't see the actual light source in your image that you've taken, and if you're faking a golden hour photo, you probably can't because the sun is probably like right over top of you, it's probably midday, um, so you have to add your own light source. There are a lot of things online you can download, like skylights and things that you can put onto your image afterwards, if you don't have any of those available, then all you need to do is just make a radial filter, warm that radial filter up quite a bit, and then just move that to one of the upper right far corners, upper right or upper left corners of your image, and make sure it's nice and big so that it'll start brightening one whole side of your image and just give it dimension. And then it creates the illusion that there is a sun and there is a low sun. And even if you're not faking golden hour, adding a radial filter and just kind of moving it around and playing with the temperature can add a really cool effect too. So those are my tips on how to fake golden hour. I still hope that it was interesting for those of you that follow me on Instagram to see the before and after of this photo and how I edited it. And again, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then go follow me on Instagram. Fun announcement, so I'm moving out of this apartment on Friday and then on Sunday, well it might be Friday when I post this video, so I'm moving out of my apartment like today. And then on Sunday, Chris and I are going to Iceland again for the second time. We're super excited. We're only going for five days, so expect some awesome Iceland content coming your way very, very soon. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button below, subscribe if you're not already, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos every week. It's gonna be fun keeping that up when I like don't have a home for the next month, but we are gonna do it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Oops, there's a box behind me. Oh, I'm still making Chris help me unpack all this stuff. <laughs>